Hey there, guys. So Monday did not go to plan. Um, you know, previous weeks have hit four sets of eight at 180 kilos on bench, um, and I was starting to feel it really good. This week was just a complete disaster for me. But when you have like disasters and setbacks, you need to look, you know, back at probably what caused it and why. So when I have a look back, you know, Friday when I was training, I was doing overhead press. I did five sets of 20 reps at 70 kilos. So obviously shoulders, triceps and upper back are going to take, you know, more than two days to recover. So that would partly explain why Monday's session was just so difficult. Another thing, you know, Saturday I was splitting wood for the fire pit and then I also played around with the axe and did a fair bit of uh, forearm training. So when you have a look at these two things combined, you know, only having Sunday for recovery, it's sort of, you know, expected that, you know, the Monday session isn't going to go to plan. And when you can look back at your training, you know, objectively like that and just see what you did, um, as opposed to solely relying on how you felt on, say, a Monday, um, you get a lot more out of your training. It also highlights then that whatever I did on the Friday and Saturday was obviously targeting, you know, the right muscle groups, hence why, you know, I hadn't recovered properly. And that's another thing, like, you look at your training, if you'd trained hard on the Friday and, you know, if I'd done legs, for example, you know, I did do legs, but if I'd gone really heavy on legs, and, you know, you go to do your Monday session, you're having a drop in strength, you know, you can at least say, okay, this is really taxing on the system versus, you know, I did a lot of um, upper body shoulder work. It just goes to show that the movements that I'm, you know, picking and putting together for my program uh, are basically working because, you know, the muscles hadn't recovered and they're the muscle groups that are targeted, you know, heavily on bench press as well. So, yeah, it is a little bit frustrating, but... All I'm then going to do is I'm just going to have to uh, rejig my program slightly. Typically on a Friday, I'd only do three sets of 20, not five. Um, and on a Saturday, I'd play around more with the stones as opposed to going heavy with the um, axe splitting and the you know forearm training, which you know forearms play a massive role on bench press in terms of stability. So um, you know at least the exercises I'm doing are working really thoroughly, and I've got DOMs that are carrying over. So I just need to start to put those exercises earlier in the week. So probably more on a Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and then I will have recovered enough for the Monday. The week before, um, on the Saturday, I had my mates over. We were playing around with the stones. But prior to that, it was the heavy tire flips. Um, and that just left my forearms, upper back, and especially my traps really quite cooked for that session. So I only got, you know, two sets of eight and then... I think I did a set of seven and just, you know, called it or maybe a set of six. I can't actually remember. But, um, you know, looking back at your training and finding out why things go, you know, astray really does help in the long term. And you also got to remember, like, at the end of the day, you're going to have some days where you go really well and you're going to have a few sessions that are going to be quite poor. Um, as I said, you know, my Monday session wasn't what I wanted it to be. But when I have a look back at why I'm not as frustrated it's like okay i'll just you know program better because i just didn't expect it to be as taxing on the flip side it being so taxing it just means the exercises that i chose were really quite effective so you know i'm not annoyed in that regard now today being tuesday you know i'm doing i did my front squats and they were really quite easy if i was truly getting weaker everything else you know if i was overtrained everything would be a lot harder to do in general but, you know, my front squats moved really, really well. It was high rep stuff. Um, and, yeah, it didn't. It really didn't tax me too hard. And I'd spent the first half of the day laboring with a mate as well, which isn't normal. So, you know, general fitness and work capacity is up. I'm definitely not overtrained. I'm definitely not in a catabolic state. And it just comes back to, you know, looking at training, finding out why things, you know, happen and how you can just, you know, restructure your program. Just because you have a poor session, you know, it isn't the end of the world. Don't get down about it. You're always going to have another training session ahead of you where you, you know, get to improve. But um, it's all about, you know, continuing, you know, lifting and just staying positive. Try and get as much out of your training as you can. And, you know, the sessions that don't, don't go well, just don't dwell on them. If you're finding you're having a string of really bad sessions, just reassess completely. 
or maybe get the advice of someone else and a coach or get someone else to look over your training program because a different set of eyes is also going to pick out things that went you know wrong for me i'm so used to coaching people and you know coaching myself i can just look over my program and go you know that didn't go well because of this um and the same thing you know i had someone do heavy deadlifts and then the next day they're wondering why they're struggling on bench press it's just because your upper body you know is so taxed and your forearms were cooked as well you know and even your nervous system to a vast extent so it's not surprising that the next day your lifts are going to be you know not that great so when you're programming and planning things around you just know the day after you know heavy squats or heavy deadlifts it doesn't matter what you do for the next you know, two or so days, your lifts just aren't going to feel as strong because you're taxed. And that was just the case for me at the moment. So um, not dwelling on the negative, but I just wanted to show you guys or explain to you, you know, it happens to everyone regardless of what stage you're lifting at. And people do occasionally make, you know, mistakes from time to time. My mistake was that I probably should have thought more into how taxing the exercises I did were. But then again, you know, you never know until you try something and you know experience is probably one of the best teaching tools a lot of my lifters are not at the advanced advanced end so they don't have to try and do you know the same sort of programming that i'm doing especially in the off season where it's a lot higher rep and i don't have anyone that i can really talk to about it anyway um, from a coaching or lifting perspective because I train very differently um, and I prioritize you know health and fitness to a vast extent as opposed to solely relying on you know only strength so um, that's just my take hit like and subscribe have a great day